Hello, Nick here. Um, gonna do a video tonight because I just got this radio in today. New to me, Sony CRF one six zero, and then this is a Zenith Transoceanic Transoce Transoceanic. I think it's called a D Delta seven thousand Y, but I, I could be wrong about that. I. It doesn't say it anywhere on the outside. You actually got to like open the back cover and look inside. But I think that's what that is. So this one, I've owned this radio 25 years. I bought it from the original owner who was my boss. The first boss who hired me for a sales job back like in 1998 or something like that. So... Anyway, he was the original owner. He bought it brand new. I got it from him. It's got all the stuff with it, all this paperwork, all this kind of stuff. But um, anyway, so we're not going to... I'm outside on the back patio. Got The whips are up in the air. So the whips are very, very similar in height. Um, we're just going to quickly scan this, the 49-meter band out here because it's hot, humid, and extremely buggy in um, Dallas, Texas. It's still August, and um, um, it's about, I don't know, 8 o'clock, 8.15 p.m., something like that. And um, I want to do this while there's still a little bit of light to see this because they're both running on batteries, and if, if you want to light the fronts up, you actually have to hit the, there's a light button. And it's still too bright to, uh, to almost see it. Both of them have that. But um, anyway, so we're just going to cruise the 49-meter band on both, kind of do a little comparison, and then that's it. Just wrap this up. I'm going to go in the house then, and then I'll set them up on my, on my workbench uh, where I do most of the initial videos, and I'll hook each one to the Wellbrook antenna, and then we'll do some more deep diving into the controls and all that kind of stuff. But... I'm a, in order for me to even reach these radios, I got to move the camera closer. I won't be able to look at both of them. So, all right. So let's we'll start with the Zenith. Now, if you look at the 49 meter band on the Zenith, they got it crammed in from 3.5 all the way up to 9.0. It's like, man, they got the. I mean, the 49 meter band is only 5.8 to 6.2. So. Yeah, the Zenith crammed a lot of shit into this band. Whereas on this one, the 49 meter band is 5.8 to 6.4, which is basically almost what the band really is. All right. So kudos to Sony for doing a little better job. Um, anyway, all right. Enough bullshit. Let's. 5.8. The Zenith has a bandwidth here, this blue one. Left is normal, right is called sharp, so or narrow. Listen. Also got this little tiny itty bitty signal strength meter. And then this is like a battery check. Yeah, see the it pegs it because I got brand new batteries in it. And then this one is oh, there's the light, the momentary switch. Lights it up like a Christmas tree. And then there's a map light. Well, that's not on. Oh, there it goes. See, the map light works too. Very nice. All right, 5.8. Whoa! This thing automatically sounds four. Well, wait a minute, that's not 5.8, I don't think. That's 5.85. There's 5.8, sorry. Now, nice thing about this one, you can, cal as a calibration thing, to slide. If you can see in this light, 
I don't think you can see it, but there's there's a thick marker and a thin marker. So the thick one is for the number, and the thin one is for halfway between. So we're on 5.8. See 5.8? And it's perfect money. I tuned this. So here's 5.8. We're on normal or wide. I'm going to hit this for narrow or sharp. Sounds much better than the Zenith. Let's go back to the Zenith. I don't know if this just means that this narrow or sharp is more narrow. Maybe it's taking too much away. And I, and I got a freaking windstorm here. This one sounds beautiful, amazing. I literally just got this in from eBay this afternoon. Took it out of the box, didn't even have to clean it. The guy shipped it to me like this. All right, let's scroll up to 5850. Watch when I hit that little thin marker. Money. Money. Narrow. Wide. It's also got a tone control. Listen. I like it like I got it centered. All right, let's tune this one to 5850. Here, I'll get you, try to get you in front of the meter so you can see the alignment. That's pretty close right there. So see if you can, I know it's all jammed together. They're sharp or narrow. Better on a stronger signal. Normal or wide. Sounds very nice. Para que se cumpliese lo dicho por el profeta cuando dijo, abriré en parábolas right, let's go up higher. declararé cosas escondidas. Five nine, no one's home. Five nine thirty five. 5950 was a photograph sent to me from a uh, confidential report showing three count one two three United States two, two. narrow bandwidth that have deployed the United States base in Diego Garcia in the Indian Ocean. Okay, yeah, let's yeah. try 5950 over here. Evangelio de juicio y salvación. Evangelio es vida para vida y muerte para muerte. And you accept Christ. 935. It isn't too hard to figure out. 
there it is. This one's harder to tune. I just rolled right by it before and I was going real slow. Narrow, you can't almost, you almost can't even hear it. Well, you can kind of. That was on narrow before, now it's on wide. On the arrival of each of these three B-2 stealth aircraft. When I received the imagery, and when I received the information on this information, I made additional inquiries. And I was told that those aircraft... I think that's five nine eighty nine ninety something like that. It's just under six. There's six because it's radio it used to be Radio Habana. Sometimes there's a carrier, but there's nothing ever on it. Before we lose all our light so I can still see what I'm doing, let's uh, try and get that 5890 on this one. Underground. I don't know how deep a nuclear equipped bunker. That's Radio MRT 6030. There it is. This radio seems to go by it when you're going this way, but then if you go back, you can get it. It's getting it about the same. The sensitivity, I'm going to say, is about the same. This is better. Radio Marti. Very strong, always is. Radio Marti, hard to tune because everything's much closer together. Even though Venus, Venus, Zenith advertised that this is their band spread or they had some special marketing term for it. I forgot if band spread was the right term or wide tune or something like that. It's really not. See, everything's so close together, I can't even tell you what that is. Six o seventy Toronto.
All right, let's see if we can get 6070 on this one. I don't even know. Maybe that's Radio Marti. What the hell is this? That's Marti, I think. Let's see if we can find that over here because I can't trust this scale. It's just too close together. This one is very accurate. That's not helping. That's what it is, but we're way up there. We're way. I gotta try and stick my face up in here. I can't even read this. Way too dark. Like six one. That might be six one eighty five. Yeah. Oh, the camera. Actually, looking through the lens of the camera, I can read it much better. Six. Yeah, that's like 6160, 6180, something like that. That's 185. That's 180. Remember those two signals that are five kilohertz apart that I'm always screwing with? That's 180, I think. No, that's 160, Reverend Freak Show. Yeah, so, it's, I mean, it's still early, right? It's only like 8.30. The sun's not fully down yet. Uh, plus, I'm just getting bitten by mosquitoes. Um, I think that's going to be it for the test on the whips here. They're both doing pretty nice. This one, I think, is doing better. It, it's nice to have the band spread apart so when you're tuning, it's much easier, much, much, much easier to tune. The narrow filter on this one sounds a lot better than it does over here. Uh, Seems it's doing pretty good. But let's go inside and hook them up to the Wellbrook. All right.